So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically reply to messages on Facebook page using AI. Yes, that's right. Now, if you're receiving messages from users on your Facebook page using AI, you can automatically reply to those messages as well. So to do this, we have to set up a simple automation using which whenever we are going to receive a new message in our Facebook Messenger, automatically using OpenAI, ChatGPT or any other AI platform of your choice, you can generate a reply for that message. And after generating the reply, automatically you can send the same reply using Facebook Messenger to the same person as well. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this kind of automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Facebook page. Now I want that whenever a user is going to send me a message on my Facebook page using Facebook Messenger, using OpenAI or ChatGPT or any other AI platform, I want to generate a reply for that message and automatically reply to all the messages which I am receiving on my Facebook page on Facebook Messenger. Now to do this, what we have to do, we have to connect our Facebook account. We have to connect our Facebook Messenger or Facebook page with AI tools like OpenAI. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform named as Pabli Connect to make this connection. So here you can see we are on Pabli Connect's dashboard and to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pabli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. Now after coming to the dashboard, we have to create a workflow inside Pabli Connect between Facebook Messenger and OpenAI. So we'll just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. So I'll name it as Facebook Messenger to open AI. And then select the folder of your Pavli Connect account in which you want to create this workflow and click on create. Now, as you click on create, here you will see an automation workflow will be created in our Pavli Connect account. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect our Facebook Messenger account with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new user, a new person is going to send us a message, whenever we are going to receive a message on our Facebook account, automatically the details of that newly received message from Facebook Messenger will be received inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. Then after that, using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the message which we have received on Facebook Messenger to OpenAI or to ChatGPT. And using AI tools like ChatGPT, we are going to generate a response for that message as well. And after getting the response from ChatGPT, we are going to give that same response as a reply to the message which we have received on Facebook Messenger. So let's see how it is done. Starting from a trigger window in Choose App, search for Facebook Messenger. Just select it. After selecting Facebook Messenger in Trigger Event from the dropdown, select New Message Sent to Page. So I want that whenever I receive a new message on my Facebook page, I want to get the same message inside Pavli Connect. So we have selected this trigger event, then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Facebook Messenger account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on connect with Facebook Messengers. Now as we click on it, because we have already logged into our Facebook account in our browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account. Just click on this continue button, select the Facebook page for which you want to set up this automation. So I have this Facebook page named as Royal Bakery. I want to receive all the message which I'm receiving on this particular Facebook page and I want to set up an automatic reply system for this Facebook page. So select your Facebook page, just scroll down and click on next. Select all the permissions over here and click on done. And as we click on done, here you can see our Facebook Messenger account, our Facebook page or Facebook account will get connected with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. After making this connection, here you can see under Facebook page, in the drop down, you can see a list of all the Facebook pages which we have selected. Like right now, we have selected only one page. That's why in this drop down, you can see only one page. But if we have selected all the Facebook pages in this drop down, you will get a list of all the pages over here. Now here in this drop down, we have to select that the new message from which page we want to receive inside Pavli Connect. So we want to receive the new messages from this Royal Bakery page. So we have selected that 
and then click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see it has not changed to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some response, some new message on this Facebook page, which we have connected just now. So what we are going to do, I will go to some other Facebook account. So I have this Facebook account named as Ashri Rai. And from this Facebook account, I'm going to set a test message, a dummy message to this Facebook page. So here you can see this is the same Facebook page, Royal Bakery. We will just click on this message button and I'm going to send a message. The message is, hello, can I get your address? Hello, can I get your address? This is the message I'm sending over here. So just now, Ashirai has sent a message to our Facebook page, Royal Bakery. And as this message is sent, as we have received a new message on our Facebook page, we will see automatically within few seconds, the same message will be received inside Pavli Connect. And yes, here you can see in our Pavli Connect workflow in the trigger step, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the exact same message. Hello, can I get your address? Now we'll go back to our Facebook page. We will just switch to our Facebook page over here. And after switching to the Facebook page, you will see here we have this messenger option. Just click on it. And in a new tab, you will see Meta Business Suite will open up. And here under Meta Business Suite, you can see our Facebook page has received a message from Ashir at this person. Hello, can I get your address? Now, as this message is received, the same message is received inside Pavli Connect. This means the step one of this automation is working perfectly fine. And using this step, after making this connection, all the messages from our Facebook page will be received inside our Pavli Connect workflow. And for each and every message, this automation workflow will trigger. Now, after this, what we want to do, using ChatGPT or AI tool, we want to write or generate a reply for the same message which we have received. That too, automatically. So for that, we will just scroll down, come to this action window. And here in Choose app, search for Open AI. Just select it. After selecting OpenAI as our action application, here in action event from the drop down, here you can see a list of multiple action events. Out of all of this, select ChatGPT over here because we want to generate a reply for the message using ChatGPT. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our OpenAI account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key, the API token of our OpenAI account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this API token. So to get it, just go to your OpenAI account from the left sidebar, go to API key section. And here you will see a list of all the API keys which you have. To create a new one, click on this create new secret key button, give this key a name. For example, I'll name it as Pavli Connect and then click on create secret key. Now as we click on create here, you can see a new API secret key is generated in our OpenAI account. Just copy it from here. Go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting it, just click on save. Now, when we click on save, here you will see our OpenAI account, our ChatGPT account is, gets connected with Pavli Connect in the action step. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the AI model. And here you can see in the drop down, we have different AI models of ChatGPT. Out of all of this, I want to use the best one, the GPT-4 AI model to generate the replies for the message which I'm receiving on my Facebook page over here. So here you can see we have selected GPT-4 as a model. But instead of this, you can use any other AI model according to your choice. Then it is asking us for the prompt. That what is the prompt we want to give to chat GPT to generate a response, to generate a reply. So I have already copied the prompt. I will just paste the prompt over here and this is the prompt. The prompt says, as the manager of Royal Bakery's Facebook page, a customer has reached out to inquire about our service. Please provide a friendly and helpful response to their message. If you lack any specific information, kindly direct them to contact us via email. Royal Bakery is located at this address with the contact number this. Our specialties include bread such as bagels, buns, rolls, biscuit, and other details. So right now here you can see to chat GPT, I'm giving a prompt that what I want chat GPT to do. So I want chat GPT to write a reply for the messages which the customer is asking. And to chat GPT, I have given all the details related to my business, to my product or to my bakery as you can see. So I have the contact details, the proper address, the products which we offer. And here in this prompt, you can add all the other details, different types of products, services which you are offering in this particular prompt. Then I want the user message. 
And in this prompt, I want to mention the message which I have received from users on Facebook Messenger over here. So we have received the message from the user in our workflow in this trigger step. So from this trigger step responses, we are going to map the response of this message text over here in this open AI, in this chat GPT action step. And the process of mapping is very simple. Just click on this field of prompt and here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Facebook Messenger in the trigger step with the new message details. Out of all of these responses, select this response of message text and it will be mapped. In this way, whatever message the user or the people are going to send us on our Facebook page, the same message will be received inside Pavli Connect and using ChatGPT, we are going to generate a reply for the same message. After creating this message, after creating this prompt over here and giving the Facebook message to this prompt, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see within few seconds, we are going to get a response. And in this response, you will get the complete reply for the message. So here you can see in this response, we have this message as message content. And here you can see the reply. Thank you for reaching out to us at Royal Bakery. We are located at, we have the address over here. Should you need further assistance or information, don't hesitate to get in touch with our contact number. This, you can also email it as this. So here you can see for the same message which we have received from the user from Ashira, hello, can I get your address? Using chat GPT, we have automatically generate a reply for that. But you'll notice that we have this best regards and we have to mention the name of the person. But we don't have the name of the person who has sent us the message. So what we can do, we can make some changes in our prompt that we want a reply as So write a reply to this message and keep it short and crisp. Also don't add any regards or business name in the end as it is a message reply, not an email reply. So here I have updated the prompt as per my need. So I don't want the regards and all of those things in the message reply. So I have updated the prompt. After updating the prompt, let's click on this save and send test request button once again. So in this way, by hit and trial method, you can get a perfect reply or perfect message or a perfect prompt which you want to send. So here, once again, we have received the details and yes, here you can see this is a pretty simpler format of message where we have hello and we have the details they have asked for and we don't have any business details or regards in the message. So this seems to be a perfect message reply to me for the question the user has asked. Now, after generating the reply for the message using chat GPT, we want to send the same reply to the same user over here. For that, we will just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And then here in choose app, we are going to search for Facebook Messenger. So once again, select Facebook Messenger, this time in action step. In action event from the drop down, select send message. Click on connect. And because we have connected our Facebook Messenger account in the previous step in the trigger step, we don't have to make a new connection over here. You can select the existing connection and click on save. And as we click on save, once again, our Facebook Messenger account will get connected with Pavli Connect in the action step. After making this connection, here it is asking us three different things. Facebook page, recipient and message. Now here in Facebook page, what we have to do, we have to basically map the response from a trigger step. So here in the trigger responses, you can see we have received a response named as entry ID. Now we have to map this same response of entry ID from trigger step to this Facebook Messenger action. So the process of mapping is very simple. Click on this field of Facebook page and from the drop down from Facebook Messenger trigger responses, select the response of entry ID and it will be mapped. Then after that, it is asking us for the recipient that to which recipient, to which user we want to send this reply. So we will just click here and from Facebook Messenger responses, we have basically received this render ID. So this is the unique sender ID that who sent us the message and we want to send the reply to the same person to the same user who has sent us the message. So map the response of sender ID. Don't map the response of recipient ID. Map the response of senders ID from here in this recipient field. And at last it is asking us for the message that what is the message that we want to send. So here we want to send the message generated by OpenAI generated by ChatGPT. So here from this drop down from chat GPT from open air responses, select the response of message and it will be mapped. In this way, whoever is going to send us a message, we are going to generate the reply for the same message using open air using chat GPT and send the same reply to them. After mapping all of these details into their respective fields, just click on save and send test request. 
Now, when we click on save and send test request here, you can see we have basically received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message reply which we have generated using chat GPT, this reply is sent to the same user who sent us the message on our Facebook page. So let's check it. We'll go just go to the meta business suit. And yes, here you can see just now we have replied the same message. We have sent the same message, same reply given by chat GPT to the same user. Also, we'll check the account of the same person of Ashirai. And here you can see the same person has also received the response, the same message reply as well. This means the automation workflow which we have created between Facebook Messenger and OpenAI using Public Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. So after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send another message to this Facebook page. Let's say I want to ask what are the products you have. So I'm asking for the product details. What are the products you have? So just now I sent a message to my Facebook page from some other users Facebook account. And as I send this message, we will see within few seconds using AI automatically a reply is generated. And here you can see I have automatically received the reply as well. The user has received the reply. So my Facebook page is automatically replying to all the details, all the messages which I'm receiving over here using OpenAI or any other AI tool. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Public Connect. Like instead of Facebook Messenger on OpenAI, you can automatically reply to the Telegram messages, WhatsApp messages, or automatically reply to the comments or the reviews which you receive on Google My Business and YouTube. So if you want to try and test this kind of automation, you can do it for absolutely free as you will get a clone link of this exact same automation workflow which we have created in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone this exact same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Public Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Public. So this is it for today's video. Thank you, have a great day.